Hi everyone, my name is Adrián Ranea and in this short talk I will present implicit whitebox implementation, whiteboxing ARX ciphers, a joint work with Joaquin van der Missen and Bart Planel. While in cryptography we mostly assume that the endpoints of the communication are secure, this is not the case in some real-world scenarios. And the worst-case scenario is modeled by the white box model that assumes an attacker that has full control on the device running the crypto computation, meaning that the attacker can observe and modify all the intermediate values at will. And software implementations of existing block ciphers like AES that try to protect against these white box attackers are called white box implementation. And the main goal of this implementation is to prevent an attacker that has access to the implementation, to the underlying code, to extract the key from the implementation. All the whitebox implementations published in academia follow the idea of encode wrong functions that consists of the following method. First, the cipher is decomposed into rounds. Then, in each round, one append random permutation called wrong encodings to the input and to the output of each round. And to cancel the effect of the encodings, the input encoding of the next round is chosen as the inverse of the output encoding of the previous round. After this is done for all rounds, the wrong encodings are merged with the wrong functions, and then each encoded wrong function is implemented independently. Two methods to build webbox implementation have been published in academia, and they differ on the type of the wrong encodings and on the way that they implement the encode wrong functions. The first and most used method is the CEO framework, where the wrong encodings are concatenation of small nonlinear functions, so that the encode wrong functions can be implemented as a network of small lookup tables. The second method that has not been used much is the self equivalence framework, where the wrong encodings are self equivalence of the nonlinear layer meaning a special type of a file permutation that commute with the nonlinear layer of the cipher. And thanks to this property, the encode wrong functions can be implemented with matrices instead of lookup tables. And while many white box implementations of existing block ciphers have been proposed, all of them have been broken. And no major progress has occurred recently in the design of white box implementation. That is why, in this work, we propose a new method to build whitebox implementation, the implicit framework. As opposed to previous method, our method prevents all known generic attacks by using large nonlinear encodings, and still provide practical and efficient implementation. Not only that, but our method is also the first one that can be applied to ARX ciphers, ciphers that use the modular addition as the nonlinear layer. To have practical implementation with large nonlinear encodings, the wrong encodings in an implicit implementation are built carefully as the composition of affine permutation and affine nonlinear self equivalence. Very briefly, to build an encode wrong function, we proceed as follows. First, we append an affine nonlinear self equivalence of the round, that is, a pair of permutation where the first one is defined and the second one is nonlinear, and they cancel each other when used after and before the wrong function. Then we append a random affine permutation and its inverse between the output of the round and the second element of the self equivalence, and all this modification is still preserved the input and output behavior of each round. And finally, we merge the fine permutation and the self equivalence with the wrong function forming the code rounds. The encode wrong functions are built in this way so that the input encoding is nonlinear and the output encoding is affine. And thanks to this restriction, we can implement each encode round as a system of low degree equations that is easy to solve with Gaussian elimination. To apply the implicit framework to an ARX ciphers, we need to sample self equivalence of the modular addition, and in this work we also proposed a new generic method to find self equivalence that we apply to the permute modular addition. Uh, we obtain for the first time self equivalence of this operation, and with this self equivalence, we can now build implicit implementation of ARX ciphers. 
And that was all for this uh, preview, but in the main talk I will be covering many more details, like the two open source tools that we propose with this work, so I hope to see you all there.